no man has the right to be an amateur in the matter of physical strength. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. Socrates. Before you watch this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. Thank you for your continued support. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is C Fitness. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a back bicep and tricep workout. I usually save the triceps for last because they tend to tire out your arms and can affect your overall performance. So the rep range is going to be 12 to 15. The weights are going to be moderate. Uh, may get a bit on the heavy side at the end of the uh, back workout. And the rest period is going to be about one minute to a minute and a half. Hopefully you guys can follow along. I'm gonna keep it mostly quiet because I usually like to focus and uh, pay attention to the mind-muscle connection. So we're gonna start with these pull down. seconds to a minute. Most exercises I may do a minute to a uh, minute and a half. You have to use your best judgment when it comes to the rest period. Don't sit out for too long. Again, focus on the mind-muscle connection. Um, try to be pretty consistent for that symmetry. Come down on this side, do the same on this side. 12 on this side, 12 on that side. Good form here, good form here. And that way, you have that symmetry. focusing on uh, three areas, or technically two, um, but it's gonna be the arms, it's gonna be the back. And again, more specifically, it's gonna be the bicep, tricep, it's gonna be the back. I think you, you're going to get your um, optimal results if you go into the gym, you focus on 
two or three areas. You know, you're not doing legs, arms, back, shoulders, uh, and so forth. You're just focusing on the triceps, biceps, maybe the delts, the abs, back, uh, the legs, shoulders, and stuff like that. And that way you can spend that entire session just, just breaking down the muscle fibers in those muscles. Not a lot of jumping around, not a lot of socializing, not a lot of um, distraction. Just get straight to it. Again, make sure you stay hydrated. That's going to be really important. Eating properly, hydration, performing very well when you come to the gym. You come fatigued, you come hungry, you come thirsty. This is going to hinder your performance.
this is one of my favorite not only back building exercises but just one of my favorite exercises in general to me this is good alternative to the t-bar row especially if you don't have a, a barbell in the gym and in this case i don't have a barbell so i just use this as a good back builder one thing i like about this is you can put the amount of weights on it so you can lift super heavy build that back up um you can test your strength your back strength because you're pulling testing your arm strength see how much you can pull i really like that about this exercise as a cautionary reminder because you're dealing with the back you're dealing with the neck just be extremely careful when pulling those heavy weights bicep workout with the ropes is one of my favorite workouts as well not only is it working your bicep but it's also helping you out with your your pull strength so if you notice i'm just the heavy weights just trying to pull but i'm squeezing that bicep every time i get to the top i'm not going super fast i'm also not dropping the rope i want both when i come up uh, and then down you know, so you're just squeezing the muscle, but you're also doing it at a steady, moderate pace. So you're getting the maximum workout out of that. The other thing is, I don't want too much rest in between. I'm not taking two minutes. I'm not taking a minute and a half. In this case, I think I do maybe 30 seconds, if that, 30 seconds to 45 seconds, and then I jump back to it. I want that pump to still be there. I want those arms to be in pain i want those arms to be extremely tight and that way i know i'm definitely breaking down the muscle fiber
I'm alternating between the dumbbell bicep curl and the hammer curl. This is extremely great because it's seated, so you're relying solely on the strength of your arms. It's very uh, uh, fatiguing. I've already worked out the back, which also hit the arms, especially when doing uh, the cable standing rows and stuff like that. And I've also done previous bicep workouts. So in this case, I don't need to necessarily lift heavy weights. I can do high reps. By the time you reach that 20th rep, you've you felt like uh, you will feel like you've lifted 50, 60, 70 pounds. In addition, I'm keeping the rest periods very short. So I'm getting straight to the workout without a lot of uh, delay. I'm using total body weight here. This is why this is a fantastic exercise. Because of the frequency, the rapidity, you're doing these constantly back to back. You're not giving any rest in between. The lactic acid builds up extremely fast, doesn't have time to dissipate. That's one thing I like about this. To make this more effective, you put a weight on your lap. You know, you could take a dumbbell uh, you can take a plate, put it on your lap. You can have someone leaning against your shoulders or leaning on your shoulders or leaning against your back to push against you a bit. Another thing is, of course, you can wear a weighted vest. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the tricep kickbacks, which is just like the opposite of a bicep curl. You're pushing against that tricep. You also have to hold that weight up. So that's extremely difficult to do. Be sure to hit both sides. And when I'm looking in the mirror, I like to think of um, maybe an L shape. And where my elbow is, there's like a screw that locks my elbow in place. So all I'm doing is extending that forearm.
for this extension since it's unilateral I'm removing the grip that way I get a further extension a lot of times a grip especially depending on the machine if the machine isn't too high you can always remove the grip and that way you get a better extension so now I'm going to do extend sideways or outward or horizontally this not only hits the tricep but it also hits the forearm so always remember that L shape and sometimes I'll hold onto the bar because the weight can be a little heavy um, so it can help with stability
it guys, that's the end of the workout. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please do one exercise for me and hit that uh, subscribe button for one rep. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like because it helps out the channel. If you wanna see more fitness uh, exercises, more motivation to keep you guys positive, to help you be the best that you can be, make sure you uh, follow the channel.